literally my hand is just going like this like I'm just going like boom to boom hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel Waldorf if you're new here hello welcome so today I am doing a hair tutorial on this look right here if you are new to my channel my hair is relatively new. Um, I cut it all off, I dyed it brown, and now here we are. A lot of you guys that follow me on Instagram really wanted me to do a hair tutorial on this look because I wear it all the time. It's super easy, and if you wanna get it, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm working with like day old hair. So it kind of has this weird wave to it. I usually just put a top knot and like go. So I don't have much in my hair right now. I have just this wave spray in it. I usually spray this in my hair like after the shower. So that's all I have in my hair right now and maybe like a little bit of dry shampoo. So all you're really gonna need for this um, hairstyle is a straightener. I like the thinner ones. This is the guy I'm using right now. This one I got at Walmart like years ago and it just it has not pooped out on me. It's a pro beauty tool um, straightener. It works super good and I've I've literally had it for like six years. Great straightener. So then you're gonna need some texture spray. Um, I love this stuff because it smells really good. I usually get it at like TJ Maxx. So there's that and then dry shampoo is a must. This is my favorite. But I do also really like the No Drought from Lush. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is you have to like either put it in your hand, rub it together, or put it in your hair. Whereas this guy, the Batiste, you just spray it in. So I'll spray this in my hair after I'm done. So basically, what I do is I will take half of my hair and I will put it in a scrunchie or a clip and I'll start with just this bottom part. So with short hair, you don't have to get every little piece, whereas with long hair, it's kind of important to get most of the pieces. I find that I just curl a few pieces and then I'm like, good. Okay, let me get my mirror set up. So what I'm gonna be doing is just curling my hair with a straightener. I'll kind of straighten some of these pieces just because I want the ends of my hair to be straight. I'll take a piece like this. I'll put my um, straightener like show, and then I will curl this way and then let go. So then I have like this little do up little guy so you can go the other way as well i know when my hair girl when she does it she goes away from the face and then towards the face i don't get both ways all the time so i try to just keep it consistent get my straightener over here so i'll do another piece and just take it and it's like not a super thick piece kind of straighten it and then i'll go over my head and i will take it and curl it towards me and then let go so it's just like one curl within the piece of hair. You don't want like a couple ringlets, you just want like one. And then I usually like comb through it the minute after because the thing that's nice with straightener curls is they stay until you're gonna wash your hair next. They stay so much longer than like a wand. So I'll take this back piece, I'll turn to you guys, put the straightener down and then curl towards me and then let go. So that's basically it, and you don't have to get every single piece, if that makes sense, because no one's really gonna see these bottom pieces, like below this. Um, it's gonna be the top pieces that matter more. So like if I take this one, kind of straighten it, I will take this, and then I'm gonna curl towards my scalp, and then let go, just so you get one wave. That's the point of it. Um, to make it look like more wispy, you just wanna do like, one wave, one kink within the hair, if that makes sense. Take a piece of hair, and then you're gonna put it on, and then you're gonna curl it inwards, and then let go. See? It's pretty easy. The only thing is, when I first did it, I was like, how the hell do I do this? And you don't wanna leave the straightener on your hair too long because then you're gonna get a kink. So you have to kind of move pretty fast when your straightener's on your hair. So, you know, it's gonna take a little bit of practice if you've never curled your hair with a straightener before because it definitely, there's a learning curve to it, but when you get it, it'll take you like no time at all. So that's basically the bottom part. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this top part down. So I'm gonna actually take my brush and just kind of brush through, see what I'm working with. Um, don't be scared to brush your curls through because they are gonna stay. I'm gonna start with like the back area. I have a lot of like, 
little curls going on. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and curl towards and then let go. Just so it's like one little loop. Does that make sense? So it's just this one little loop. If you have more than one loop, the textury beachy look, it won't work. So you just need like one little, little loopy doop in there. That's the common mistake I feel like people make. They put too many curls in their hair and really you want just like one spread out one. See how that was like just really loose. I know it can be a little confusing to get at first, but honestly, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Like I remember seeing my girl do it and I was like, there's no way I'm ever gonna be able to do that. But practice is key and you don't have to be perfect with it which is like really like why i love this hairstyle so much um it's messy it's beachy but it's like really cute like see like i didn't like that last curl it just wasn't like big enough so i'm gonna take that piece again curl it and just there that looks like better even better than i was the yeah. last time baby we'll be back I'm Rap just made me anxious, and that shit made me crazy. And squares just made me looser, that wax just made me lazy. And I still make this song, and I'ma make another. If you ever actually hit me, better watch out for my brother. Okay, guys, we're literally almost done. That's how quick this hair tutorial is. So. I'm gonna brush this out, see what we're working with, make sure there's no knots. See, sometimes I get confused, I'm like, what hand am I doing this in? Okay, so we're gonna just straighten and then curl and let go. should have done it a little bit higher up so I'm gonna just take this piece again and try to get that little you want to start a little bit higher with those pieces um, in the front that makes sense um, because you get to choose where the curl goes which is really nice like if you want it to be higher up if you want it to be lower um, I'll show you right now so like if we go on this side maybe I want this curl to be like a little bit lower so we're gonna not start curling here but go straight down and then curl and then go down so now the curls like mid midway um, whereas if I wanted it to be closer um, closer to the root, you would start curling closer to the root, like that, and then you have this like curl up here, which is what you want. You want a little bit of curl by the forehead in order to get that kind of like Instagram beachy look. I'm done curling it with a straightener. I'll just kind of like run my fingers through um, and kind of make it a little bit messy. I'm all about the messy hair, the quick hair, because I don't have time to do my hair. Like I have to go. So anything that's quick and easy is good. Um, after it's done cooling, I will take some Chi hairspray and I will just kind of spray this throughout and make it just a little bit more messy because I love messy 
big hair. The thing I love about this hairstyle is it's so easy. Like, honestly, don't give up. Like, the first time I tried to curl my hair with a straightener, I was like, can't do it, won't do it. Don't give up. But, like, keep trying because it will get so much easier. And before you know it, you're going to be doing this within five minutes. Okay, you guys, that kind of completes this hair tutorial. This is a super duper easy hairstyle. And honestly, the more you do it, the easier it'll get. So don't give up. I know that curling with a straightener can be really tricky, but you're not doing too much to your hair. Just remember you just want like one curl anyways if you ended up liking this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you aren't already hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications i make new videos every tuesday and friday and i would love if you would be part of the family anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video okay bye she's a